hello everyone so today in this video we're going to see how to use golang with goroom to connect with mysql and you know insert data into the table so let us first uh, research a little bit about goroom z o r m many people used to call go r m so here it's official website Goram is actually an you know object relationship mapper. So you can go to his uh, the this website. You can come to this website and you know uh, research about it if you want to know more. But here I'm just going to you know directly uh, you know create some project uh, to use this Goram. so that we can connect with the uh, mysql in our golink project so let us start okay where is it for the mysql <coughs> okay for mysql where is it okay let us search quorum mysql Okay, connecting with the MySQL, we're going to see this. Oh, okay, for <coughs> okay. So let us start this project. So I'm going to create new folder here, and that uh, let's the name of this project be uh, GoRM. Okay, I'm just going to put it GoRM, and it should not be capital letter. I think it should be small letter. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a little bit cough. Okay, now let us open the visual. VS code okay here we come now let us open the terminal yeah and now let us first create the main dot go which is the main file yeah which should be in our you know calling project and then let us do some go mode in it uh, you know let us create a project and name uh, the name of the pro project will be go rm return joy we can put like this no problem so when we get a new file here that's go.mod when we click here this is our project name now and now uh, let's go to this one main dot go and uh, you know uh, define our package that is main package main and after that now let us <coughs> let us uh, create a new folder here database database where we are going to put our you know uh, mysql connection using gorum so db dot go and now let us uh, now we have this one let us mention the package first package is going to be database and now let us install the go rm so to install go rm to go uh, let us clear this go gate go rm dot io go rm okay okay now go rm is installed let us clear it then again now install the you know mysql driver qrm mysql driver which is go get qrm io driver it's correct is driver yeah and mysql now it's downloading let us first uh, now it's downloaded complete let us create after that we need to write go mode tidy whenever we import you know some new libraries you know it's better to you know uh, execute this command go mod tidy 
now let us start writing our functions because uh, when we come to the go mode uh, go sum here uh, where is it I, okay. here I didn't see anything why I don't know but still now we're going to write uh, the uh, you know uh, the main function let us go to the gorem website here in this uh, github.go gorem mysql I'm just going to copy this actually because I don't want to write this it is too long uh, even we cannot memorize this one <coughs> so there's you note this down first here we have imported imported this one uh, quarium drive mysql and then quarium and then this is the dns okay so this should be i'm going to make a little bit edit here because uh, well, uh, i'm going to do encapsulation here power okay and here also i'm going to write bar and this should be capital letter guys because you know i have to use this in uh, another, uh, other files so db connect and this should be db here db e double r <coughs> now this one is i think uh, okay so here is i need to remove that and now now we have to uh, write here the instead of this quorum we have to write the username of our mysql username and here instead of uh, gorum here we need to write the username of our database and here we need to write the password of our database and here we need to write the you know uh, uh, ip address or you know local host uh, that you have you know, whatever your this one uh, mysql uh, have, uh, let me show you example in, uh, so this is my mysql okay i have installed jump and this is uh, i got from the jump so here i have a local host this is the url of my you know uh, this one database so this local host should be written here instead of this one and instead of this core rm we have to write the name of the database that is this one this database we are going to connect here so <coughs> let us start writing here root is my password and because it is a default my PSP my admin I don't have any password but if you have any password you can write pass one like this but I don't have any password so I am putting it blank so and my URL of my uh, you know database is localhost uh, we can see here I can come here and see it is localhost and my database name is test so I need to write your test okay okay here this should be the test because this is my database name and left uh, others you know as it is so I am I have saved it but here I'm getting a little bit uh, you know errors uh, this error can be solved using go mod tidy yeah now it's solved whenever we import some library we need to write uh, execute this comment comod.tidy uh, com <coughs> and now this is what we have done we have done connected uh, our you know database uh, uh, sorry our golang go room with our mysql now let's let us check this one if it is connected or not go to main.go and here we're going to write some func main and now database let us uh okay uh, okay what we need to write here if db oh sorry uh, database database okay it's already imported here our database dot uh, db error not equal to nil panic 
and then the, this is going to print out output the error that we are going to have in our database dot db errors and dot i think errors okay so and after that so uh, where do we get this go rm written joy is my project name and database is the folder of the name this one okay so uh, from where we get this database db error we get it from here okay here this one database is the packet name and dot db er is this one okay this one okay. so if uh, there is nothing wrong then this will execute database connected okay but if something is wrong then this will execute uh, execute and, uh, and uh, we will not see this one so I hope you got it so now let us run this okay we see database connected here because uh, there is no error okay but if there is something error like suppose let us clear it and let us uh, I, I am going to write something here wrong password okay because uh, I am going to put wrong password you will uh, what kind of error we are going to see if we put some wrong password or some wrong details let us see let us see here okay now we have a error right this error came from here okay uh, so this is perfect working clear now uh, we need to remove that uh, passport because I don't have any passport it's blank let's try it again go run dot yeah database connected okay now the database is connected so in the next video we will see how to create uh, 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 sorry not to create how to insert uh, you know data into our you know database table so wait for the next video and thank you for watching guys